Hello, this is Jim McElvain with Optima Batteries back in my sweltering hot garage in Central Florida. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to pretend I'm at a retailer and we're going to pretend that a customer has brought back a battery that they need to have serviced for a possible warranty replacement. Now, what I'll tell you is that many of the people that bring batteries back to us for warranty service actually have deeply discharged batteries and those batteries work just fine once they're properly recharged. So if you bring a battery back into a retailer and ask them to give you warranty service, the first thing they're gonna probably do is measure the voltage of the battery. And if the battery is not fully charged, they're gonna to attempt to fully charge the battery before they administer a load test. Because if they administer a load test on a battery that's deeply discharged, it's not gonna give them an accurate result. This D31M has been sitting on a Optima battery uh, maintainer for uh, probably, 24 hours, so we're going to take it off. We know it's fully charged. And this is the type of load tester that you'll see at a typical retailer. And it may take, depending on the depth of discharge of the battery, it could take 12 to 24 hours to fully charge a battery before you can load test it. So we'll turn this load tester on here. And this battery is rated at 900 cold cranking amps. Temperature probe. 89 degrees, it's a warm one. We'll get it up to 900 cold cranking amps. And we'll say it is a deep cycle AGM battery and we'll load test it. This battery load tested at 906 cold cranking amps. So it's a good battery. But again, this whole process may take up to a day, especially with a big battery like this Group 31, if it's been deeply discharged, it could take quite a while for that battery to become fully charged again when they put it on a battery charger. So please uh, be patient with your retailer, give them a chance to fully charge the battery because that may be all that it takes. And if you try to charge it with your charger and it wouldn't work, there's a good possibility that charger won't recognize or charge a battery that's been discharged below 10 and a half volts. That's pretty common. The Optima Digital 1200 charger that you see right here and the Optima 400 maintainer both can recover batteries that have been discharged down to 1.25 volts. So they can recover those deeply discharged batteries that other chargers cannot. So if you don't have one of those, it might be worthwhile investing in it. It'll pay for itself with the first battery that you save. And if you need more information on batteries, charging and testing, head over to our website, www.optimabatteries.com. Thank you so much for watching.